Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, December 1st, 2022. Let's find out what do we have in the Forex calendar today. Very important uh, data uh, are right now on the um, screen. So you can see that uh, Kexin Manufacturing PMI had been published already. This data are from China and it beats the expectations of 48.9 because the actual reading is 49.4, which is even better than the previous reading of 49.2. So good data uh, apparently from the uh, China. Um, German manufacturing PMI uh, is scheduled for this 5 to 11. Um, that's one of the important news. Manufacturing PMI data from the UK is scheduled for this at 11.30. Initial jobless claims from the US are scheduled for this half past three. And the ISM manufacturing PMI is scheduled for this at 5 p.m. So we got some interesting, very important data scheduled for release today. Let's find out what is going on on the uh, charts and because of the manufacturing data from uh, China, we will take a look at the Australian dollar first. Daily time frame chart of the Australian dollar is showing us very nice extension uh, towards the 161 percent uh, level, uh, 6, 8, uh, 6,837. So we have a very nice gap up here. We touched this level already. As you can see, this is our very, very important zone. Now let me just move this. Uh, move this here um, and of course this means that we broke above the trend line this is a long-term trend line very important trend line so right now with that positive and strong momentum there is a chance for the bulls to rally even higher so where is the next target apparently uh, for the uh, for the bulls the high from the uh, 13th of the uh, september 6919 the high from the 26th of the uh, August 7012 and of course the technical resistance at 7072. So those are the levels that might work as a targets for, um, uh, for um, bulls. However, first we need to definitely break through this zone here where's the 161% Fibonacci uh, expansion level uh, as well. So we need a breakout. The key technical support, 6,715, 6,684, 6,674. So this zone will act as a technical support. However, any breakout below 6,580 will definitely um, abandon any kind of a hope for bulls for another rally and uh, most likely the market will reverse and move uh, move lower so this is the situation on the australian dollar let's take a look at the new zealand dollar the situation on the daily time frame chart of the new zealand dollar is kind of a similar to the australian dollar we bounced already uh 15 over 15 percent uh, from the lows and uh, we are approaching 6349 technical uh, resistance uh, levels this is the biggest bounce in the in, uh, on the daily time frame chart let me just zoom out for you to see what we are dealing with there you go this is our this is our uh, our chart and this is our bounce and if we put a fibonacci retracement tool uh, here we can see how much we already retrace i guess it will be somewhere around 50 percent and there you go we uh, have retraced 50 percent already and uh, if we zoom in we can clearly see that the 50 percent was at 6273 broken uh, already last week and uh, right now we are retracing even more, approaching 6,349 technical resistance and 61% of the Fibonacci retracement is located at 6,450. 
free. So that's a very nice target for the uh, for the bulls, of course, and especially if you consider the fact that just above it there is a technical resistance, six thousand four hundred and sixty-three. So let's get rid from our chart the fifty percent retracement because it's a history already uh, and let's keep this uh, this current uh, movement to the upside because it looks very nice if we add a parallel channel here because we broke from the other one and if we add a parallel channel here we can clearly see um, the we are bre uh, breaking higher and higher and higher so it looks like this channel might be a kind of a, a kind of a Im important for them uh for the bulls and this is the maybe not red but uh blue yes there you go this is the blue channel blue yellow channel looks bullish to me but still as long as we trade below 61 percent of the fibonacci retracement all of the movement up must be considered as a corrective movement during the downtrend right however the dynamics of this move and the very strong momentum that backs up the um, uh, upward movement uh, looks like it might be something really really serious especially that we are dealing with the daily time frame chart so does it mean the US dollar is tanking lower let's find out why this market is moving so strongly up well one of the most um, uh, important reasons uh, why the um, most markets uh, related to the US dollar are going up is that the US dollar index is basically going uh, lower as you can see on this uh, on this chart daily time chart of the US dollar index makes a new local low today uh, let me take a look 105.23 so um, we are still of course expecting this uh, co complex corrective cycle to uh, complete uh, soon to terminate soon however so far the market is um, key, keep keep telling us that um, no, well, this is not that quite right yet please notice the fact that we can still um, we can still evolve into more complex and even more time consuming consuming uh, correction um, on the US dollar index and if we zoom out let's take a look when we zoom out apparently there is something building up here okay so there is a very strong uptrend here however this might be the left shoulder this might be the head we need a right shoulder and we have a head and shoulders price pattern which might be warning for a potential long-term trend change from the uptrend to the downtrend so what we need is a right shoulder here around here and then of course breakout below the neckline so for now we just leave it like it is because we still um, for, for the head and shoulders pattern we still need right shoulder we still need a bounce a visible bounce um, we see what the market can do for a bounce we need to for the shoulder we need to bounce above 107.50 maybe even towards 109.29 and then of course the market can decline so that's the other uh, point of view for the uh, for the uh, us dollar index let's take a look at the bitcoin and what is bitcoin doing let me just switch to the four hour chart it's much more clearer to see what the bitcoin is doing there um last uh, few hours gave us this nice movement uh, to the upside okay uh, nevertheless it is still around range bounded movement to the upside why why this is the range bounded because we are still well we are testing the seventeen thousand one hundred dollars the upper range as you can see here uh, we are still um, below 17,600 level and below the last bounce high located at 18,135. The other thing is that if we uh, take a look here, we have a new yearly low. This is the first wave of the bounce. This is the pullback of the bounce. And as you can see, 61%. Fibonacci extension is done. Now we are uh, moving towards 100% Fibonacci uh, extension. So what do we need here? Apparently, 
Uh, let me just move it a little bit lower. There you go. This is the correct level. What we need here is wave A, wave B, and wave C. And if this ABC bounce is apparently um, made of uh, free waves, that means this bounce is corrective in nature, right? So we need something like this. Let me just uh, remove the wave so we can see it clearly. Um, this is as you can see there you go somewhere there this is as you can see the target the potential projected target for the wave c and the corrective cycle abc might be completed and the market is ready to uh resume the higher time frame trend and move lower this is it that's the that's the situation on the bitcoin so please keep an eye on 17310 and then of course 17600 because this is the next important uh, important level for uh, for bulls as well the market conditions are extremely overbought on the for our chart uh, so that's another uh, thing to uh, keep an eye on because it might be you know, a good time for a local uh, pullback so this is my uh, analysis for today for the first day of the december thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys tomorrow so take care and bye bye